Right. Okay, 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 guys. It's old man G back in one video for Red Devil Studio. Apologies. Been busy with work, all the rest of it. Um, we hope we'll be doing a few more things with football returning back. United playing bright on the weekend. The preview will be coming Saturday night, as well as a few other things. I've got a few announcements. We're doing a community update show um, probably um, next Tuesday, I think. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, if you're around to Manchester United, remember if you use the channel, subscribe below. Subscribe below, like, share, follow me on Twitter and get involved. I hope you like the new logo and the banner. So just thought I'd spice things up a bit. Anyway, Varane to Manchester United. Varane to cost 49 million. So obviously for a while, we know that Manchester United have been linked with a defender. We know that Manchester United have had um, interest in Rafa Varane. There has been contact. Um, Real Madrid, it seems, according to Metro and coming from Spain, um, are at their wits with Rafa Varane regarding an extension's contract. So I'll just go through. This is from the Metro, but there are obviously other sources, sites as well. And the, the Metro says that Madrid are increasing designs to losing contract Red Bull and long-time Manchester United target with Rafa Varane and they have set an asking price. The Frenchman's contract is due to expire in 2020, so that's next year. Obviously, if he doesn't go this summer, he'll be going away for free next summer, which is a problem. Um, so, according to a fresh from the Spanish by ABC, um, those contract talks are now a complete impasse with Varane's camp demanding a seven pay rise while real are trying to coincide with square times will take a 10% pay cut into the coronavirus pandemic. Now, just as an aside, you know, this is the thing that I don't really understand. I mean, you know, especially with what's the news regarding Erling Haaland, you know, I, I've said this several times and that I just don't really get where unless some of these big teams are making significant sales to, to make, to get the funds, I just don't see how a team is going to spend that amount of money given what's happened with COVID, you know, sorry, the pandemic, you know, I, I just don't see it. And that includes Real Madrid and Barca. Um, with Real on now to be able to give into France the Manza club are now braced to lose a 27 year old and they must feel they must get the cash for summer, especially if they're interested in a player like Varane, for example. Um, and we just go on forward. A the ABC, which is a Spanish outlet, report that Real have set an asking price of between 60 million euros, so that's 51 million, and 70 million, that's 59 million pounds equivalent, with even the upper end of that valuation representing a bargain for players won every major club competition as well as the World Cup and is still in the prime of his career. The report also says that United are keen to try and love Rand to Old Trafford, having first attempted to sign him before he even moved to Madrid, and they've been watching him closely ever since. Um, obviously, United's also linked with Sergio Ramos as well, but it looks like he's, you know, it's interesting. Um, it is very interesting. Um, United, to be honest, have been linked with Ramos and Varane. Um, I still think that there's an ongoing thing with De Gea, and there could be a question. Do Madrid still want David De Gea? Does Fiorentino Perez still want that Spanishness there at the club? Possibly. Um could he be made in a make way given that Henderson obviously is um is um is is now looking like he might be number one, possibly. I don't know, but the reality is that United definitely want a centre-back. That seems to be clear. And I think £59 million for Rafa Varane, to be honest, even if we don't sign any players, I think is a pretty good steal, especially if we can finally shift off the likes of Rojo um, and a few other deadwood, and a few other remaining deadwood players. Um, is he worth a million? I think at this agent's prime, I think he is. Although... I think there are still question marks on his individual ability without Sergio Ramos, in my personal opinion. But we'll see what happens. We need to sign a defender and being linked with and potentially signing with Ran is at least a positive start. Anyway, guys, if you need to try remember to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio, follow on Twitter on X, smash the notification button, latest Manchester United news and more news. Have a nice day, everyone, and cheers.